Hey guys, my name's Ron. I am the owner here of Atlas Survival Shelters and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So if you never see my videos or my channel, I actually make bomb shelters. The ironic thing about today's video is I go to Ukraine and I'm the one getting bombed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video because literally I was standing at a building, I walk away and a second drone came in and bombed on the other side of it. So I tell you what, be careful where you go when you go to Ukraine, but I think you'll love today's video. It's quite interesting, but you'll see what those people live like every single day in Kyiv, Ukraine and all over that country. They came in and you could watch them racing through the sky, locking onto a target, and then in the blink of an eye, the drones like falcons. Ukraine's capital under attack again. People are shooting at the drones. <laughs> so there's guys shooting at the drones. So it's, it's, Monday, it's Monday, October 17, 2022. And normally this would be a bustling city right now, except we're, on, we're under a drone attack right now. There's already been six bombings here in Kiev. And me, I'm sleeping through the whole damn thing. I heard the alarms going off in the air raids at 6.30, but I just stayed in bed. The system has been set on in Kiev. It is highly recommended to walk down to our underground shelter. The shelter is located on minus second floor of our underground parking area. Okay, so this is on social media. So there's one of the drones hitting here in Kiev where I'm at right now. Wow, where was that at? This is uh, two kilometers. Two yeah. kilometers from here? here? Yes. So I'm about a mile away from a bombing right now? Holy cow. Well, everybody's in the uh, shelters except a few people are out walking around, but there's no cars on the city. I mean, I've only seen one car and it's a Monday morning, it should be bustling, but we're gonna walk down to the Metro, the subway that's like a hundred yards underground. And we're gonna go see what it's like to hang out with the people in the bomb shelter here in Kiev. Right by my hotel, the Radisson Blue. This turns out, this is the oldest building in Kiev. He said it's only 300 years old, but you would think it would be older than that. But uh, I don't know what it is. Some kind of church, monastery? Huh? Uh, building of actor. No. Huh. Huh. Well, anyway. <laughs> the streets are just dead. Maybe they don't allow cars to drive when there's bombings going on. But uh, you can catch the drones flying over. I'll show some footage here. But uh, they're not very fast. There's been six drones. Two of them were shot down. And one of them exploded about two kilometers, or about a mile and a half from my hotel. So we're gonna walk over the subway and see what it's like for people in the subway. Maybe we'll go check out the bombing. So all these people are coming out of the subway um, and we're going to the subway. See all the people starting to come out now? Maybe, did they set the all clear? Cause I see people jumping out everywhere now. Okay, so I mean, just literally three minutes ago, everybody was in there. There wasn't nobody on the streets and they're all piling out now. So I was gonna go down there and see what they were doing, hunkering down. But, uh, oh yeah, where's the entrance? Well, this is definitely the exit. People are piling out there. Oh, entrance over here. Okay. So this thing here, I did a video on it a month ago. It's a hundred, 330 feet underground, one of the deepest subways in the world. And uh, everybody's pretty much leaving. So they're all coming out, nobody's going in. <laughs> all right, so everybody's coming out and I'm going down. So let's go down there and just see how many people were down in the subway. Apparently all of them were. You know, this doesn't happen every day in America where we get bombed, so. So this actually goes on two levels. So we go down about 150 feet here, and then it goes down like another 150 feet. 
I guess they were all down at the very, very bottom of the subway. This thing moves so fast. Well, maybe that was about it for people being in the subway because I don't see more coming out, but you know, these people are so used to being bombed, they just stay home usually now. Um, but they were in the basement at my hotel and at the restaurant, they were all down in the lower level. But, uh, you know, these kamikaze drones, they've only got uh, about 300 pounds of explosives, which, of course, it will kill you. But um, they're more to uh, antagonize these people than to really do a lot of damage. The irony here is that, you know, I built bomb shelters for a living and uh, I'm being bombed, but uh, I'm not sweating it because uh, if your number's up, your number's up, but, you know, it's one thing if it's nuclear war, it's another thing when it's a small drone. Um, I think you got a better odds of being killed by a mugger in LA than being killed by a kamikaze drone here. In, uh, in Kiev, but we're coming up on the bottom now. Well, I must say, if a bomb's gonna hit me now, let it do it now, because I'm 300 feet underground. I don't think anything's gonna hurt me down here. Wow. I mean, that's a long, ways up there all right so they have announced the all clear so it's a little it's about 10 minutes till 10 the all clear came on about 15 minutes ago so now cars are starting to pick up and the streets are starting to get a little active now but until then everyone was just pretty much halted frozen sitting at home down in the basement but uh some people shooting for drones <laughs> <laughs> he should hit the drones with his rifle <laughs> That's funny. I'm more worried about the bullets hitting me than the drone because people are shooting at people are shooting at the drones. So there's guys shooting at the drones. You know as they fly over, but you know they fly over just like an airplane, and you can shoot them, I guess. But they're also showing bullets falling and hitting the ground, which worries me more than anything. So we're rushing in a taxi over to see where the where one of the drones hit near my hotel. Disclosed places where it's a bomb. Okay, so we get out and it's walk? Not, not walk not. We'll walk. Yes, walk. So this is where the bombing went off. There's guards there with machine guns. But this building down here on the left was Monday's bombing. It's like they came back for a second dose, but all the windows are shattered out. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, that's a helicopter. We thought it was, yeah, we thought it was another drone coming in because you can hear them coming. Another helicopter. I guess there's a bombing one over there too. You can smell it. Yeah. So the bomb went on down that street. But there's the building that got bombed just on Monday. And today is a uh, Monday, so it was a week ago. All the press is here. Oh wow, the cars are all covered in smoke. Oh, there's still smoke down there. from the uh, Daily Mail. So I have no idea what they bombed down there today. But they hit that building over there. It's just a residential building. You see all the smoke billowing out. 
I have no idea why Russians would want to bomb something like that. But look at this building here that just got bombed on Monday. Oh my God. Look at this. It's an entire beautiful office building. The whole, this whole side got destroyed. The bomb hit the top of this building right here. And um, just the explosion took out all the glass in the facade of that building right there. Wow. It's amazing. So a kamikaze drone just exploded right down the street over here. But look behind me. This is what happened just a week ago today. A bomb blew up on top of this building here and it took out the entire facade on this side of this beautiful office building. I just don't see any means or a reason why they would bomb an office building like this or a residential apartment as they did this morning. Wow. So these little drones are doing, I mean, they're not gigantic bombs. They're gonna bring down a whole building, but what they do is they're sure messing up all the glass and everything. Um, this whole building here is caved in. So it looks like the bomb hit right here, hit the top of this building here and uh, exploded, took off the whole t top of it, caved in the floor, broke all the windows there. It's called the uh, the M Tower Business Center. Well, they done messed it up. Makes no sense. Wow. I can't believe I'm here seeing all this stuff. Look at all the broken glass. They swept it back. This is just everyday life here in Kiev now. This makes no sense. Okay, so what happens is this is the electric building. So they're trying to hit the electric building. You can tell there's damage to the electric building, but they're missing. They're hitting the building next to it. And I'm guessing the drone attack this morning, they were trying to hit this building again and take out the infrastructure, but they hit an apartment building over there. It's just a waste. Ukraine's capital under attack again. Moscow determined to keep Kiev on the front line. And then they end up doing all this damage like that. The Russians need to just quit it, you know? But this is nothing but pure terrorism. This is divots from the bomb. Yeah, I can see him. See all these little divots from when the bomb went off. Wow. Let's go look at this one over here this morning. No sense to it. No sense to it at all. Hey guys. Well, I'm not supposed to be filming, it turns out. So I'm leaving, but uh, so that was the drone strike that hit near my hotel this morning. So security guards came up and wanted me to erase my footage. But um, of course I played dumb and said, I'm an American and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't erase it, but uh, we're gonna head out of here. So a bombing just happened down the street. What's life like in Kiev when you wake up and there's a bombing down the street? Is this just how life is? Okay. And I guess this is just everyday life in Kiev. Bombs going off, all clear alarm, and the streets fill back up again. The fire trucks come in, they shut the streets off, you got police over there guarding it. The news shows up, and then people just go back to work. So the Ubers over here are called Bolt. It's similar to it, but we're gonna get in one right now. And then life goes on.
building that got bombs on the other side of these buildings there, but we're downwind, you can smell the fire. But look at that, how fast the city. I mean, there's nobody in the streets, and then 30 minutes later, um, people out, see if we can see the smoke, but it's on the other side of that tall building there. Messed up Russian. So the spot I'm at right now, just a week ago, a bomb went off here and it killed 30 people that were sitting in the cars. You can see, you can see all the windows are boarded out because they're blown out. Yeah, I don't understand the reasoning here, but um, see all the windows are blown out. See, there's some damage to there, but the bomb, where'd it go off? Oh, in the center of the road. Oh, I see. Go. Okay. Yeah, right there. You can see this, all this rock. So that's where the bomb went off, that big square patch right there. Oh wow, the blast took out all the glass, even that far away. This guy drives like shit. But the bomb in the park did all the damage this far away? Wow, see all the windows? So that's what I'm dealing with here in Ukraine. That's what these people are living with. All right, so that right there was actually a missile, not a drone, because to do that big of an explosion and blow out uh, a piece of the road that's about 30 feet by 30 feet, uh, that was a missile, not a drone. But uh, the explosion was so big, as you saw, it took out glass a block away off the dome of that building. But this is the opera house right there. So, I mean, right here in the middle of the town where people are at, they're, they're dropping bombs. I'm, I'm here with this uh, Ukrainian TV crew. Who are you with? What network? ICTV. Uh, I, it's Ukrainian ICTV. National TV Channel, ICTV. ICTV, Ukrainian National Channel. But we're here at the Golden Gate, which is a historic um, landmark here in uh, Kiev. And the subway's right over there. But we're going to announce on the national news that Atlas Survival Shelters is officially in Ukraine to save lives. And we will start providing bunkers from Poland at the beginning, but we're gonna manufacture as many of them right here in Ukraine as we can. So I'm in the exact same spot it was an hour ago. Remember there was no people. Now the city's alive because the bombings are over. So I gotta go back and start doing my business now. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, that way you can experience all these big cities and these war zones and all these places I'm going. And if you're wondering what this banner is behind me, it says from the Defenders of the Donbass. It was signed by my squadron that I brought a bunch of supplies to, tourniquets, and things that a lot of my subscribers donated. I took it over there. I brought back this banner. They appreciate it. I appreciate it. So guys, as always, I love you. Thanks for watching my channel. And like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.